Hey everyone, here are some technical difficulties for you. Uh, for the next three minutes, uh, this speed up footage is going to appear because while I was recording, I had my iPod connected and possibly my camera drivers. So that fucked the whole thing up, but uh, you're, you're not missing much. The only thing I did was uh, beat the hidden orange barrier uh, combat area. You know, the extreme level area. <laughs> you know, uh, you gotta pass one for um, each sword, so it wasn't much. It was easier than I fought, and I had to be level 16, but I, you know, killed it at level 14. So, um, since the footage was shit, I left it. And um, just to show you guys a bit of what happened and nothing in the pool I didn't even see Momohime um, you'll see a big gigantic boss just appearing and I did my uh, power up strength boost before I fought it anyhow I just want to show you a bit of uh, which type of creature you face the only thing I can tell you about that creature is evade the poison gas uh, the poison gas and evade the lightning attack yeah that's lightning attack. Uh, there was no way for me to recover that footage. It really pisses me off, but I have to um, continue on. Besides, it's not that much. I only beat that boss thingy, extra, and then I um, get a new blade by uh, forging it because I have enough souls, and that's practically about it. So, imagine this. A whole, f let's say, 10 minute video into three minutes because of <laughs> a camera error anyway it gives me time to tell you guys that I am reaching my current save point in Yakuza tree and um, to tell you the truth man um, this run through that I'm at or this uh, save file that I made is fucking badass I mean um, since I knew where everything was from the beginning, I was able to pull off the Komaki training around, I think it's either chapter 5 or, um, yeah, I think it's chapter 5, before you go to talk to um, Ka Kashiwa Kashiwaragi or that dude that gets shot by the helicopter. You know, before, um, okay, let's say right after fighting the FBI, alright? Right after fighting the FBI, I got the Komaki training, I dated every woman, no joke, every woman in the city, and I got a special item from it, and apparently the Yakuza clown appears to give you that that item, and it's his only appearance, they, f they took him off, I don't know why they censored him, uh, the dating has been somewhat censored, I think it's pointless now, because you know what, it's, uh, you go on one date, alright, you do one date, you do a second date, and as you're about to, you know, try and fight her for the third date, oh my god, I got problems, help me now, cure you. And this happens for all the women. You don't even need to get their hearts to uh, the maximum of eight, I think. Yeah, you don't even need to get them. Oh, sound is back. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, the dating has been reduced, and when you're about to get the sex time, they took out the sex minigame. Of course. Um, so yeah, I had time to date all the women, um, I got this lucky findings, um, took all the Komaki trainings, and I have to show you the moves I acquired from it. Uh, I'm raping, I'm raping Tiger, Tiger uh, Drop, yeah, Tiger Drop rapes, that's about it. Uh, what else, what else, what else, oh yeah, to beat the armful dodgers easily, Komaki dodge, easy. Um, same goes with that little crook wanna wanna be. So um, yeah, Komaki dodge and dash on him. The end. Done in like two seconds. Um, and I even though the dating has been toned down, I still advise you to do it. Large experience. Holy shit. Um, and if anyone wants to see Rikia's quest. At the um, fuck, uh, at the bikini bar, I will do it, and also Rikia's tattoo. If anyone wants it, but um, to advise you, do it. Large experience. So um, 
I guess I'll close the Yakuza tree update by saying I'm reaching up the Hitmans. Um, I schooled Kanda and I'm, um, I'm about to reach the same chapter I was at. Uh, so as soon as that's settled, I will be doing full-time Muramasa, Kisuke, and then back to Yakuza tree. Um, now, okay, well that's about it for Yakuza tree. Now, Mur <laughs> wow. Did I say Murasama or Muramasa? Okay, I keep mixing both, but remember, it's Muramasa. I changed the title. Oh, uh, as you saw, that last blade I used, uh, the super move's not that good for enemies on the ground. It mostly hits enemy in midair. Uh, but I'll find a good use for it eventually. It does more damage, so it can be useful. And sorry if my voice is practically dead. I've been playing Dead Rising up until 4.30 in the morning. And now I'm recording this at 4.46. So, uh, it's another one of those shadow updates where I update in the morning. Anyhow, um, let's see. Let's break the orange barrier since I have the blade. And let's get to the next level. Let's do this. Uh, I just want to see. There's a treasure around here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Ah, okay, there we go. Sometimes they're hidden upstairs. Let me just see what this gem is. Could be useful, but there's a better one. Um, this could help you in a boss battle to spam your blade attack. And spam the shit out of it if you can. All depends which blade attack you got and what's the boss situation. Always get to notice these kind of things. A couple of ninjas, they never burn. They just come back with more. Whoa, what the fuck? Alright, let's keep this going. I like Cross. It's still, even though it's not as good as uh, Moonlight, it still does its impact. And I'm gonna start uh, cooking a bit. Uh, I'm gonna have to set up a couple of things with the cooking. I mean, I got rice balls, but I also got sweet potatoes, and those can do the trick as well. Actually, they're even more powerful. They give you much more HP than the rice balls. I hate these enemies. Mostly because of this situation. They hit for a shitload of damage. They will murder you if you're not careful and I think they have a couple of invincibility frames so the tough part is repelling Jeez, shit. I'm not gonna die I really want that damage because it does its effect but I guess I might as well switch up if I can keep them in the air but the tough part is if you go in the air then you might land on a platform just like now God damn it, there was two of them? Makes no fucking sense. Alright, give me a rice ball. Cut him down to size. Oh yeah, eat shit. Uh, well, eat stuff and it'll give you spirits. So souls are from battle or wandering souls and spirits are from food. Both are used to make blades, which you need. Right now, I'm seeing it's like I'm on a soul shortage, which doesn't make much. I don't know, man. It's it's a tad bit confusing. Um, I might have the same situation with the other character, but a cool thing that the game lets you do is pick up the other character on their last act or last chapter. And I guess if you save the game at that point, um, you. Well, technically, if you pick up the game at that point, you'll be able to earn more blades and such. And then save your game and both blades are combined. Which is a cool feature, and I'm gonna have to use and abuse of that. I'm also gonna have to make a new game if I wanna do a walkthrough of Momohime after Yakuza Tree. Um, and for anyone wondering, I have to make an episode on the, that Yakuza at the end. That's the name that, yeah, I have to make a small vlog about that. 
because I've been receiving multiple notices and yes guys I've received your messages it's just it takes a while to answer everything uh, along with the whole job hunt drawing for people not drawing porn fuck that I'd be rich <laughs> but um, yeah drawing for people and all that it's just a cluster hell now so I'll have to make a vlog to answer a lot of people on that and also to thank all the subscribers everyone leaving messages and what the fuck was that the bamboo oh yeah you're gonna soon understand how annoying the bamboo gets to be one because it appears out of nowhere two because its damage is quite high um, and three it's it's bamboo what the fuck it's still counted as an enemy which is rather troublesome at times because you know you think you've taken out all the enemies and wait there's a piece of bamboo left what so uh, that's a bit of nonsense but hey it's with the stage right at this point see oh okay wait those different type of enemies that's the first time I saw them uh, I'm kind of impressed by the new type of enemies they don't hit for much so I guess it's a safe battle interesting new type of enemies man hmm see I love finding random stuff this might become useful I don't know what's my strategy for now actually I do since I'm in the future and I'm recording over the past but that's a time paradox no one wants to get on it um, what else aside from that Dead Rising 2 is eating my soul uh, I think it's this quest to finish it and then finish it again in multiplayer for the co-op PS3 co-op power I have did a couple of co-ops but you know the thing with Dead Rising 2 is you finish it once and then you want to go back again to take out all those annoying little psychopaths who are stuck in the way you know you have situations where you're like alright I'm saving this hostage I have to make it quick to get back to mission objective um, let me see if I can take a shortcut cutscene damn it I landed on the goddamn psychopath fuck and this happens often but this is the fun part of the game if you can get it if you can go back in there with new game plus or you know you reload and you're much more leveled then you will take them out and this is a very hard single player game I mean look see what I mean the bamboo it's counted as an enemy so the battle didn't end I can't believe this thing anyway and also small experience too for that kind of stuff it is really too bad but I'm gonna have to end it around here so let's get ready for some more soon 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 guys later